Hello, Gear Space. I'm Kyriakos from Relic, and this is an alpha version of our first product called Relic. We call this a, a hybrid control surface. So Relic comes together with a breakout module right uh, here. This includes 16 matrix inputs, 16 matrix outputs, 32 control voltage outs, and 16 gates. It connects with a USB-C connector back to the main device. And the first functionality of Relic is a matrix mixer. So how this works is that right now we have connected a few uh, outputs from, the, from a Eurorack uh, case here to the input of the matrix and a few outputs back to the Eurorack. And here we can make connections on the fly by pressing buttons. For example, now I have connected the second voice of the chords to the Morcasmatron mix and the Morcasmatron mix to the reverb one. I can change between presets, between we call them routings. Those are different patches practically. And then we have a sequencer page that in this last section, I can select in each step of the sequencer which routing I'm triggering at every point. I have probability conditions, trigger conditions, and the routing itself. To this is more indicative of how the matrix uh, sequencer works. And then we also have 16 normal sequencer tracks. Uh, how this works is that you can uh, select between control voltage that comes from the breakout module, uh, MIDI 1, MIDI 2, MIDI 3, so we have three MIDI outs. We have a USB MIDI and a USB host. Each sequencer track can have different modes like probability, uh, Euclidean modes, polyrhythms or polymeters. And we also have a piano roll where you can uh, change uh, the notes in the space, you can scroll. Uh, again, this is an alpha version. There are a few features that we're still uh, working on and we want to achieve. For example, we want this to be an isomorphic keyboard instead of just seeing all the tracks in the same time. And there are also navigation methods. This encoder, it's also a joystick. So if I click on the right, we can see the other part of the screen or on the left. And if I press the zoom button, I can zoom out or uh, zoom in on my sequence. Then we are also working on the LFO and envelope implementation. Each track has dedicated LFO and an envelope, uh, drawing automations, note modes, and isomorphic. And we also have a DAW control surface. This is still an early version of this feature. This now is connected to Ableton. I can navigate uh, uh, in live between different scenes and groups. The color, we have like color matching between Ableton Live and Relic. Uh, we're also working on a logic implementation. We have all the different tracks, volume control, triggering loops, arming, recording, and uh, selecting track. And uh, this is the main idea behind Relic. What we want to achieve is to not have to work with different pieces of equipment and different workflows, but to centralize different technologies like standalone gear, uh, Eurora connections and DAWs in one unit having a single interface. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, Gearspace.